Welcome to Talk of the Town. This is an official podcast from the town of Pine Top Lakeside to expand upon community topics shared through the Talk of the Town newsletter. Here we will give you more detail, respond to questions, and deliver information about community news and happenings. Hey everybody, it's Rob Hefner here hanging out in the studio in the town of Pine Top Lakeside. And uh, with me today, I have a Mr. Eric Kramer. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Thank you. You are here. This is with the Native Women's Scholars, Inc., right? Yes, I'm vice chairman of that group. Vice chairman of the group. Okay. Tell us what, what the event is and what's going on. Well, um, it's a wonderful event, especially to meet our Apache neighbors. It'll be June 10th. It'll be over at Mountain Meadows, and a band that many people in the community have heard of, but the Apache Spirit will give a free concert there. Everyone is welcome. Uh, They have been the premier band on the reservation for perhaps 40 years, so a lot of people uh, know them and, and know their work. That will be fun. And we will also have a group called the Oak Creek Dancers and Singers. And they will, um, they will sing, they will perform their um, crown dance, um, very sacred Apache uh, dance. And this is a very good team of, uh, of many, many people who come to perform this. Um, that'll be a couple of things going on there. Another thing, um, we will have a people building what's called a goa which is a traditional Apache house that's made out of brush. So you can actually come there and see it made. Um, Again, this is all free, and it is on um, June 10th. It'll be good to have you there. Cool. And it's from 3 to 6 p.m., correct? Yes. So talk to me a little bit, Apache spirit. 40 years. They, yes. they don't look that old. So, <laughs> Well, there's a little bit of a generational change. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do update band. Is that what happens? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, wow. Awesome. The, the crown dancers is always, you know, every single time I've seen the crown dance. Do you know anything about the crown dance, like specifically what it is and what, what the purpose is? Or are there multiple purposes? I don't know. And I'd like to know more. Well, um, I guess a most important thing is it's a religious uh, ritual. Okay. Um, you have um, four uh, dancers, and um, in Apache, an awful lot of things are, are four for the four directions. And then there's one other um, person there who's kind of the leader of the group and swings this instrument called a bull roar, which makes uh, which makes noise as they mm. dance. And they, they chant and they cry out. They make... Um, Really sounds like animal uh, sounds in the forest when you when you hear them. So it's and, and they're quite good dancers. So it's really fun to see. So this event, uh, like you said, Saturday, June tenth, three to six. What's the purpose and and what is what is the goal of this event? Our organization is called Native Women Scholars, and our purpose is to send Apache women to college. In the spring semester, we spent fourteen thousand two hundred eighty five dollars sending folks to uh, college. Uh, Many of the um, universities you're very familiar with, like U of A, ASU, NAU, but also some places like Fort Collins and um, places that you might not ordinarily think of. And and some of our scholars go to Northland Pioneer College as well. So there's a really a broad array of colleges they go to. They they do very well in school. Um, some of our students have become uh, magna cum laude and su- summa cum laude and gotten the highest honors that the universities offer. So we feel very good about that. That's pretty awesome. One, one thing that makes us a little different from some scholarship organizations is some write a check and that's the end of it. Right. But um, fortunately, we got into the habit of giving the scholars a little more support, particularly kids that are away from the reservation for the first time in their lives. They're hundreds of miles away at some university, and something might come up that they might not know how to handle. Like one case I cite maybe too often is the car breaks down and they suddenly can't get to class. Well, we would we would help them with that. So in giving this extra layer of support, we really increase our graduation rate and increase the success of our students. That's It's an awful lot of fun. It's a chance to meet some of these scholars if you'd like to come and see them that day. But the event is free and uh, open to the public. We have a thing at the... Uh, the Nature Center. It's a 
presentation on the Apache clan system, and that's on a, a different evening. That's, I think, on June 6th um, at the Nature Center. So that event is on June 6th? June 6th. And is it all day or is it? It's uh, 6 p.m. It's at the Nature Center there on Woodland Road. Very good. And um, really appreciate the the Nature Center hosting that for us and being part of Apache Culture Week. That's pretty straightforward. If somebody wants more information, we've got your telephone number right here that I'm going to put down below so we don't have to say it. Is there a website as well? Yes, nativewomenscholars.org. Okay, we'll put that link down below. So if you have more uh, questions and you want to get more information, you can look those up either way. Once again, that's uh, Eric Kramer with the uh, Native Women Scholars, an evening of Apache culture.